The Art of Delegating to Supersize Your Business or Grow Your Business. Sharon Hernell Smear. And our, our topic today is delegation. And this is an area that I personally had to learn and practice and really work hard on becoming a delegator. And it wasn't really until I had a mindset shift when I realized that delegating wasn't just uh, me letting go of control. It was me empowering other people, improving my culture, helping other people to grow and develop, taking the things off my plate that I wasn't really awesome at anyway. I thought I was good at stuff, but I really wasn't. There was always somebody better at absolutely anything I could do that if I was willing to let go of and have somebody do that, I could focus on the things that I'm excellent at and let go of the stuff that I was mediocre or kind of stunk at. And that was one of the ways that I discovered that I could really grow and build and supersize the different businesses I was involved in. Because when I did some introspection, I almost always realized that if we were struggling in an area, it was because I was holding on too tight and somehow causing a bottleneck in that business. Or sometimes we do that in relationships too. We're talking about relationships in this year's annual challenge this month. And uh, we need to let things go in our relationships as well as in our businesses. So why do we want to delegate? <clears throat> in addition to helping other people grow and develop, it offers huge advantages. It offers us speed. It helps us to uh, maximize workflows and efficiency. It gets people doing the things that they're best at, including us. It frees up our time to plan and strategize and decide what's most important and what direction we want to take the business. It... <clears throat> requires a couple of things. It requires that we uh, strategically allocate tasks, right? We don't just get stuff off our plate to get it off our plate. We assign it to people that can do it better than us or that need an opportunity to grow and develop and stretch and improve their skills in that area. Uh, we need to make sure that we have clear communication whenever we delegate. Every time there's ever been a problem with me being delegated to or me delegating something to someone, it has been a breakdown in communication or expectations. So we have systems and processes in our organizations that are very clear and very specific and divide up the responsibility, the communication, expectations, the follow-up, feedback, etc., so that there aren't many misunderstandings. Do we still have misunderstandings? Of course we do because there's human beings involved. But for the most part, we've got systems in place that take care of the things that come up most often. Guess what? That's a living, breathing document that is always being added to improve and change because guess what? Our world is always changing. <clears throat> uh, and we also need to remember that when we delegate, we have to give people the chance to make mistakes, the chance to, and the authority to make decisions, to try new things and to make mistakes, which creates a culture of creativity, innovation, excellence, uh, that doesn't exist when we're not willing to delegate. And again, I've learned that one from personal experience. I had a couple of businesses early on where I held on so tightly that I almost destroyed those businesses and suffocated the people in them, including myself, because I wasn't willing to let go of some of the control and delegation. Again, like I said, it's a mindset thing. When I realized that giving people the opportunity to do what they do best and to shine and grow and improve improves our culture, improves all of our experiences, and it definitely helps to supersize and grow our businesses. Love to know your experience with delegating. Are you an easy delegator? There's things now that I don't even think about anymore. I just have automatically delegated them in my life, uh, and it has offered me so much more freedom to, to follow the things that I'm passionate about, to create the businesses and the opportunities that are in my world what make me want to get up and and show up for work every day. All right, that's it. Have an awesome day. I will, of course, be with you tomorrow with another interesting topic on how to build and grow and supersize your business with my unique little twist and uh, take on that particular topic. Have an awesome day. See you tomorrow. Bye. Go delegate something.